Okay, hello friends and gamers. We are back in the Arknights Enfield technical test day. Obviously it's over by now because there's like less than 24 hours left, but obviously it's over by now, but I still have some stuff to get through, so I'm still recording. Here's the deal. It's like quite late in the day now. I meant to do this for most of the day, but I ended up taking a nap and like relaxing. So it's like 5 p.m. And I thought, I thought the, the technical test ended at 9 p.m. my time, but it's actually 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. So we can get much further, but I will probably be very sleepy tomorrow. So <laughs> let's see what we can get through. We're still building, I think, because we're on AIC constructions. Open the bag, select the contour beacon and deploy it in the core AIC area. So I think that's, we are still building then, but here's what we need. The construction terminal beacon is stored here. We have to place it. Um. I say let's put it over here. What's the front of it? I can't tell what the front is. Here, then let me, if I can't tell what the front is, we're gonna, we're gonna do this really quickly. I'm gonna place it, like, do this little, there we go, cheated a little bit. I feel like I do this in most games. I, I like just... put things on the side of the area for some reason when it comes to like things we need. I don't know why. So now I need to use the contour to construct the refining unit and shredding unit beacons and place them in the bag. When I said creative mode, I didn't mean it. Is this actually like, are we Minecrafting? <laughs> what are we doing? There's also a car being very loud outside my window. It's Saturday. What do you expect? So this is the construction terminal or con term screen. My characters are talking again. Okay, chain you. Chain you, please. Okay, the con term is literally a machine that constructs other constructs other machines. This is the starting point of all automated industry complex or AIC facilities of Enfield Industries. So we have to switch to the production one tab for basic productions and we can select the refining unit and hit confirm. So we also need to make the shredding unit. So we'll do that as well. And where am I going to put them? Around the edges. Because <laughs> that's what I do, apparently. All four beacons for the refining and shredding units are now in your bag. So we have those Set now. in the factory area quickly. You think maybe put them over here? Yeah, I like the idea of that. I like the idea of that. Or I lied. We're going to put them over here. It doesn't matter that much. We'll just put them over here. If I don't like it, um, tough. That one that there. It's the refining unit and then the shredding unit can go right next to it. Perfect. So most facilities must be connected to the electrical grid in order to work. Hence, when constructing facilities, any part of the facility must be within the electric pylon connection area to connect the facility to the electrical grid. The electric pylon itself must be connected to the electrical grid via other electric pylons, the relay tower or the protocol anchor core. Okay, makes sense. You need to connect things. You can drag facilities from the bag or depot them into the hotbar. Okay, then uh, you'll have uh, different hotbars inside and outside the core AIC area. And the hotkey Q opens the facility list and we, then we can select the facility we wish. Okay, so AIC we're learning things. Can only run awesome. On power. What did I do? Dismantling mode. You okay, I, I learned a new hotkey. Units within the powering area of the electric pylon. So, You also need to cable. ensure that the PAC is connected to the electric pylon so everything is in the grid. The, 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 the refining and grinding oh. units are not power jets. I hit them. I hit the refining and grinding refining. units are not power jets. I know, but it's not letting me plug them in, bestie. What's up with that? Do I have to pull the cord? No. Okay, use electric pylons to transmit electricity to the refining unit and the shredding unit. Okay, so we have to make a pylon. So electric pylon. We have five of those. Let's I say put the pylon right there. And then pull the electric cable to you. Nope, that's not the right cable, bestie. Not the right cable. I think then electric cable plugs in here. Boom. Then we pull the cable from you to you. No, that's not how it works, apparently. Okay, facility deals. How does an electric pylon work? It doesn't tell me. Do I need to put a pylon? Use electric py There's a pylon right here. Okay, give me a second. Wirelessly supplies electricity to all Enfield facilities within its area of effect and also comes with a 30 meter long electrical. That doesn't make sense because this should be 30 meters. No? Like if I do a little bit of this, we pull the electric cable, that is five meters. <laughs> what do you mean? It's not, what do you mean? I'm never going to learn how the these things work. I, quite frankly, I feel like I'm going to be struggling with this even at release. Connect them to the electric pylon before operating these facilities. Uh, the electric pylon is right here and it won't let me connect to them. Because I, I have the cable. Nothing. Do I have to start with the refining unit? No, that's also a big fat zero. Whoop. Besties, I'm confused. 
Because I have the pylon. Does it want me to put another pylon down? That's the only thing I can think of. Like, do I put it right there? Do I put it right there? This is not in the electrical grid either. I don't know what's going on. I did figure out how to break things down though, and that's really helpful. Because this, that's hooked up. The pylon's hooked up. But if I pull the electric cable, it doesn't work. It does say refining unit listed first, but that also doesn't work. So I'm a tad bit confused. Use electric pylons to transmit electricity to the refining. What do you mean I've been doing that? It's right there. The pylon is supposed to be wireless, no? Why does this always happen to me? Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> uh, I'm just like, what if I take the relay tower? Will it, where will the relay tower? No, nothing is letting me hook up. I don't know what that is all about. I just ran into Wolfguard. Maybe you know, wirelessly supplies electricity to all Enfield facilities within its area of effect. What's the area of effect? What if then? Here's, here's a deal. I'm going to break it down. And instead, we're going to be very specific about this. And we're gonna put the pylon directly next to it, like that. And then we're gonna pull the electric cable and hook it up that way. And it worked. So it, they both need their own pylons for some reason. Okay, so I, I, you have a very tiny area of effect. I think there should be enough room for this pylon here. Yes, Do it. so pylon. And then we're gonna be smart about this. Cable management and all that jazz. We're gonna go back here. Pull electric cable and wrap it around behind. I don't think it matters that much, but Let's make some might as well. First. Head to the refining unit. <laughs> oh my god, that took so much longer than it needed to. Arigo crust is acquired by what are we doing? Arigo crust? Ore. Okay. Place the required raw material. Five parcels Origin in the refining unit. Into the refining unit. Okay. So once the factory details window is open, we can click here to open your storage. And we need the crust. Where's the crust? We can go to the depot? What's the crust? I literally, they're like, Chin Yu is talking and there's so much going on that I'm like, I don't know what we're doing. My brain literally just short circuited. Oh. Again, I'll say it again. I said it last night. The combat and everything like that. Fine. If we can figure it out perfectly fine. I know what I'm doing. But you give me like strategic crafting and for whatever reason, I, I shut down. I'm shutting down. Windows shut down noise like it's done. It's over. I blue screened. This one goes in here. And then um, the previously idle refining unit is now in production and will process raw materials into products over time. Finished products will be placed in the output cache to await pickup. I don't like that word cache. I don't. I had to sneeze, but I can't sneeze. Oh God, really a trip we're having today. Once enough has been produced, you can move the products from the output cache to your bag or depot. Okie dokie. I'm not reading any more of this because my brain doesn't want to work today, apparently. I made a bad... I see, I probably wouldn't be recording if it wasn't for the fact that I have, like, no and not enough time to do this. Shredding unit. What does the shredding unit do? Pulverizes materials. Okay, I'm not going to let her finish. So we have our formulas here. And it looks like we can break down quite a few things. We're going to pin this one specifically and then hide the unit, close the screen, and the formula is now displayed on the main screen. I do like the pinning of like formulas and things. The construction terminal is also pinned over there because I'm I think it never unpinned from when we made it, but I do like that. Keep producing Origio crust powder and repair the assembly station. Okay. Unit to make Origo crust powder. So we go to the refining unit to pick up our stuff. But the thing is, I don't think we can take it until it's done. So I don't like that. That is, just seems a little counterintuitive to me. I'm going to unpin the construction terminal. Use the shredding unit to produce five parcels of Origio crust powder. I think I actually might be able to do it already. Origio crust powder. Okay, so drag you in there. And now it, it's producing. Unfortunately, I th threw all my stuff in there. So that kind of sucks. But we should be okay, right? Now we just wait. Yeah. How's everyone doing? I do like the little animations and noises for the units. That's kind of fun. Makes me feel like I'm actually doing things. It, I feel like I'm. Uh, it's, we're like cozy gaming, you know? We're crafting, but definitely not cozy gaming. I think they're both still going. So, huh. Yeah, I think it's almost done because I'm running out of stuff in my input cache. Can I take you now? Or can I just do this? I can just drag to place it in the bag. Okay. Awesome. I think this is still going. So yeah, that's done now. So I'm going to take you as well. The assembly station. Now we can Let repair this assembly station. Where's the assembly station? Oh, over here? Yes. We can repair the assembly station. Yippee. I definitely made more stuff than Get what we needed, I think. And activate it. We have to activate Use it? All right. I'm, I'm skipping through things. Oh, research is complete. New gear analysis completed for the valuable stash. Its replicas can now be assembled at the assembly station. Probably because we made gloves once before. Now we can make more gloves here. But we do need to make the PPE. You can see that crafting active PPE suit one requires Origio Crest powder and crystallite fiber. Click the crystallite fiber to see how it's produced. We need crystallite. We need to refine crystallite. When you find a new material, 
Oh my god. When you find a new material, I can't, why can't I read this word? Oh my god. Material. Refer to their tags to check the production processes they can be a part of. Try that out. Oh my god. My brain is so broken. You can also click the Enfield database and click materials to open the screen to check the details. Okay. I probably will forget to do that because this is a lot of steps now. We're pinning it though. Awesome. I do like the tag system. I do like having that information, but right now my brain is now have busted. <laughs> Let's process them to craft the equipment. I do training. wish you could pin multiple like recipe things at once. Um, just because I feel like the um from prior experience in other games, mainly cozy games, it's really helpful to have multiple pins of recipes, but very few games actually do that. I can think of a couple off the top of my head where I've played and thought the exact same thing of I wish I could pin multiple recipes and you can't. Uh, we're using the refining unit to produce 10 parcels of crystallite fiber. Okay. So we're going to go to the formulas. What does it want me to do? Click move and you can move it to it. I don't want to move it. No, it's in the, it's, I put it in the perfect spot. I'm, listen, I play a lot of crafting adjacent cozy game things. I know what I'm doing. I have a system and we're using it here too. This is what we need. Yes. Oh, it's pinned already. Uh, okay. What is it? What do you want from me? What do you, yes. Okay. I see you have a new recipe. I don't care. It's also not properly pinning the recipe. Is there no way to clear out the caches? I guess not. Let me split this. We only want, what did it want from us? Cause I have 50. I don't want to do all of that. I don't want to do all that again. Here's 10 parcels of crystallite fiber. So how many, is it a one-to-one -one ratio? Yes, it is a one-to-one -one ratio. Okay. So we're going to split that. I only need 10, confirm. Again, I wish that there could be a different way to split that, split the piles. I wish that because I another game I play does it where you one mouse button and I, there's different I console control continue. She's talking in. I've never had an issue with idle lines in games before, but for whatever reason, I think it's because I'm th thinking so much through this crafting thing that whenever someone talks, I'm like, you need to stop right now. <laughs> but when another game I play will do that with stacking and one mouse button grabs the whole stack and the other mouse button just grabs one part of the stack. And I think that could be a lot. I think that could be really helpful, though. but I don't know entirely how it would be done with this sort of refining unit menu. Anyways, we're going to put those in there and now it's producing. OK, we got it figured out. Oh, my God, we figured it out. My brain hurts. The problem is I like the crafting. I think just having to go through the tutorial of the crafting is like hurting my brain and especially building crafting, making buildings for whatever reason should be easier, I think. But I don't know how. I, I don't know how. I it might just be me being stupid. I think the pylons need a better, um, need a wider radius. Cause why? Why? why did that take so long? I don't know. Okay, I think we're done here. Yes, you are mine. Into the bag you go. We now have more than enough materials to craft. So I have materials. By the base. We can even craft some for ourselves. Use the assembly station to produce one suit of active PPE and place it in the back. Okay, so we're making PPE. Start that. Acquired. Alrighty. Is it in my bag? Did I put it in my bag? Give Andre the active PP. Okay. I, I guess I put it in the bag. Okay. Um, off we go. Oh my God. My brain hurts. I don't know why. Cause that's crafting is so easy, but I struggled so hard for some reason today. You can't imagine how worried she was. Like it's not that. Our job includes addressing any problems. The probably could just cut Andre off. Wait. But our production efficiency happens? to be desired. If something urgent comes up, I mean, yeah, it is kind of slow, but don't make me, don't make me fix that today. Is the definitive I would like to get onto story. I'm done with business. crafting for now. I, we can't do more crafting. Oh, oh, everything we need in our did Andre cut himself off? If you need some new tech, just point the way okay. and we'll start for searching it. At Every time I look away, that like skips okay. through the dialogue. <laughs> To upgrade our factory tech. Oh, we're upgrading factory tech now. There, we don't, we're doing so much. So the AIC management plan, I'm just going to talk over to you at this point, is part of the AIC. Obviously, it's in the name. It is only visible after using G or clicking the icon. Yeah. Um, but here's the thing. I actually, what's my brain? Use T for tech tree. Just like, there's a, oh God, a skill tree. There's a skill tree for the buildings. The AIC management plan offers a detailed overview of AIC development. Okay. Every node from top to bottom will give your AIC improved performance and options. Plan is divided into three phases. I'm just looking at this skill tree and I'm like immediately no. Immediately no. Just from 
the amount I've struggled crafting today for some reason. I'm like, I, I can't do a skill tree on top of that. Not today. Not today, besties. Every node in a phase must be activated before you can progress to the next phase. Okay. I'm, you know what? I'm not reading. I'm not reading. I, it's, a, it's a skill tree. The node before it has to be active before you can... It's a skill tree. We all know how a skill tree works. The planned tech nodes can only be unlocked in the specified order. Okay, so yeah, I don't need to read anything. It's just let it happen as it happens. It's a skill tree. My fridge is making noises. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. This is the AIC management plan. Uh, yes, I know this. We must do our part and meet certain criteria. Do we have to do our part, our Fiona? Can complete a tech upgrade. <laughs> do we have to do our part or can someone else do that? Closely to expand the factory. Now, let's switch to factory mode. A factory Basic mode? tech upgrades are extremely costly. Okay. Let's start by going to the Conterm and constructing two Conterm? units of Originium rigs to speed up resource gathering. Conterm? Originium rigs? Okay, so we're making Originium rigs. We need to make two? Okay. Oh, that that's really... I like that you can make multiple at the same time like that, and it's Next, like two seconds. We'll place the Originium rigs on Originium mining spots. Originium mining spots? A few such locations spots? have been marked on the map. Oh, so we actually have to go somewhere else for that? Okay. All right. So we're going over this way. Give me my buck flower. Going this way. Bug. Mining rigs can only be placed on mining spots. Oh, those are the, these, the sparkly spots on the ground. I was curious about those earlier on. Higher tier minerals cannot be mined by lower tier mining rigs. So having higher, more higher tier rigs than having, is better than having a couple of like, or like, no, I, that, that did not, that did not work. Having a couple of higher tier rigs as opposed to multiple lower tier rigs is ideal. It's self-sufficient in energy and can endlessly mine or without being connected to a source of electricity. Thank God we don't have to deal with the pylons again. So then we build mode. Is that the original rig? Yes. Okay. Go there and go I'll there. They, here. they slot in really well. So then the Originium rig will stop working when its cache is full. Visit the rig every now and then to pick up the mined ore. Okay. Different areas will have different types of minerals and mineral densities. When density is below 100, I like the animation and sound it makes as well. I feel like it's very fitting. Chien Yu, we've been over- Stop! Stop! <laughs> the idle lights, I think maybe they're just very frequent. And the fact that I'm like trying to read through a menu, it's. I think that's the issue here. When density is below 100%, mining efficiency will be lower than the standard production rate of the mining rig. And I believe to get that higher is where we start upgrading things. The ore mined can be used to produce a Regiocrest powder for researching AIC management plan tech upgrades. Feel free to try that out. Okie dokie. The research division That's good. We figured it out. Origo crust? I thought it was Origio crust. Use the shredding unit to produce 25 parcels of powder. Let's grab what we have from here for now because I'm good, about to peace out so i just want to grab what's here before we do that what is this here is that a regina more i'm gonna grab that over here forget it because there's some like other spots that it's just like in the ground i'm gonna grab it as well as my buck flower powder let's go back to crafting this is just the crafting video this is my minecraft arc my arcanized minecraft arc and you know what i'm switching to wolf guard because he doesn't talk as much at least i don't think he does where are we going oh god shredding unit i'm pinning you I have 26. I'm just going to throw it all in there because I need to do about that much anyways. Alrighty. Uh, now we wait because we can't do anything. I guess we just stare at it. Yeah. Let's see if we can't do any leveling on Wolfguard because I wanted to do that leveling last tech. night. I can level his gear. Oh, wait, because we have the armor. My the PPE. I put it in my bag. Was it, I just... Do I get to keep it? I don't know. We'll come back to that. I need to see if I can level him up. No, because I need more Glodermas. Western Wildlands. Are there any around here? Because I think that was our issue before, right? I need to put them in the bag. If I didn't have to put them in my bag, they, I would go out farming. We need glow dermons. But I think that was the deal yesterday is that I couldn't necessarily find any immediately nearby. There were spots to put the terminals down there. We should have just done it there. What the heck? I'm going to grab more ore. I wish we could farm from the big one because that's quite fun. Like I wish I could hit smack the big one, but it, it's kind of just there. We're back. I also am starting to get a little bit of a headache, and I don't know if it's because I took a nap or because uh, I'm, I'm getting the motion sickness. Oh, thank God. We're almost done. It's done! Bum, 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 bum. Did I not do this right? Did I not do this right? Did I? Because I... It says I only have five. Eh? Was that not the right... Originum ore. Originum powder. I needed a Regio crust powder. A Regio crust. Okay. Well, that's my, that's my fault. Let's try that again. Try that again. Let's go fight some stuff while we're waiting this time. What's nearby? Let's go fight these dudes. Why not? There's a chest nearby-ish. 
Oh, there's a, oh, there's actual dudes here. Oh god. Um, didn't realize that. Okay, could be a problem. Hopefully it won't be. Oh, definitely not a problem. We're good. I see. I see. I know there's a supply crate up ahead, Fiona. See it right here. Yippee! I can't jump over the supply crate. Okay, noted. And we got two more guys right here. I meant to pop in Harlika. Awesome. We have an ult for later now. That's really fun. Do you want to get the Regina more? I think I'm going to start walking around with Endman because Endman doesn't talk as much. I need to do some farming of materials. Okay, I need, I need my brain needs a minute. I think there's something with idle line frequency definitely needs to, to happen because usually I don't have a problem with idle lines, but if they are too frequent, sometimes I get overstimulated and like get very angry, <laughs> which I think is what's happening right now. I'm just like, there's too many things. There's too many things. And there's an angry dog outside my window. I, it's one of my neighbors has chihuahuas and I think that's probably one of them because they're insane. So cute though. One of them's a runner though. <laughs> one of them's definitely a runner. All right, give me my powder. I did the right thing this time. Why did it close? Why did the, why did the thing close? Boom, powder. I did it right, thank God. Go to AIC mode, open the management plan and research basic AIC. So we go tech tree, basic FAC, research. Are we getting solar panels? Oh no, we can just construct electric pylons now. I don't want more pylons. Quite frankly, I don't want more pylons. Keep going down the tech tree and research various nodes to support your exploration efforts. This is the recommended research you should start next. I like that it recommends what you should start next so you're not like totally in the dark on what you're supposed to build. I do appreciate that. That's very new player friendly. That's very stupid player friendly. And I say that lovingly because I am a little stupid, but I think that's, I think that's very necessary. I do like that they have that. You can definitely research another tech of your choosing. I like that it's recommended though, because it's like, oh, I don't have to think about it. It's right there. Thank you. Your next primary goal is to research the belt basics tech to automate your AIC. I could see why that would be recommended. Definitely could see how automating would be definitely recommended. We recommend upgrade and upgrading and expanding your AIC and explore the areas around the protocol testing base. This will get you adequately prepared before you explore more dangerous areas. All right, noted. I feel like having it spread out is more helpful. I'm going to be honest about that. But we do need to upgrade these first. We do not have enough materials. We need more crystallite fiber. Yes, we need crystallite fiber, which we can find. Oh no, that's a shredded thing. So we need then the ore for that. Alice, let's talk to Andre and see what's oh. next on the agenda. I just, I'm gonna see if I can't make any more fiber first. I can. How much did I need? Because I don't want to go overkill. Even though I think you can turn it back into. No, I don't think you can turn it back into ore. It looks like we need twenty because we need ten for the electrical parts thing and then another 10 for the field stash so i have about 40 so we'll chop that in half have it create it do what it needs to do refine whatever i keep using the wrong keys because i'm thinking of like if, oh if i use my right mouse button because i think that's because i think the keybinds i was talking about from another game i played earlier if you use right mouse button it just takes one out of the stack and if you want to grab the whole stack you use left mouse button so i keep doing right mouse button and it's closing the menu because <laughs> i'm just i'm used to those controls and i'm like oh they're, okay <laughs> It's not the right controls though. So we want 20. Let's just drag it, split that in half, throw it in there. And you can do what you need to do. And let's go talk to Andre now. Well, that makes the thing. Also, Endman does talk, but not as much. Nice, we did it. Was almost raised to the ground just moments ago. It still looks kind of sad, but I think we figured it out. I have to sneeze. I do have to sneeze. My very own eyes. Andre. Supervisor. Uh. You're the ones who made all this possible. Oh, I lost my sneeze because of Andre. <laughs> I have this owl guy made me lose my sneeze. No. What about oh. me? Ah, Chen Yu, you course. talk too much. Your contribution. <laughs> that's that's about you, Chen Yu. I love you. I love your design. Making a fool of yourself. <laughs> I still have a sort of with you for that warehouse. Yeah. She's still so unhappy with him, and it's funny. Supervisor Perlica. Oh. I've tracked the Rhodes Island operator. Who is it? Do we know? We're heading over to your place right this moment. Ooh. Okay. You know what? Go Going through all this like tedious crafting nonsense is so good now, because now we get to meet our Rhodes Island administrator, operator, whoever it is. I hit my microphone. Feel free to make your preparations before talking to Director Chien. I think it's just wants, it's like, take your time, maybe? Because I think we're probably chapter one, act one? Eh? What did we finish? I just received a new message. The nomads at the temporary camp seem to have moved back to their settlement that was previously occupied by the Landbreakers from Fiona. Okay. I want to grab my fiber. If you have time, you can visit the place and see how they're doing. We have so many pylons now. Okay, so your refining unit and everything, it's done. So I'm going to bag that. And now we can go tech tree. I should have enough. Oh no, I need more powder. So we can do electrical parts because that's what's recommended next. Boom, boom. 
And then the field stash, I need more of the Origio Crust powder. So let me make that really quickly. I should have enough. Uh, no, we don't. So how do we get this? From, we can get it from ore, Reginum ore. So if we go to refining unit then, I have the formula I want pinned is this one. So we're gonna throw 10 ore in there as so. I'm beginning the hang of crafting now. I feel like now I know what we're doing. I'm actually gonna do this before we head out because um, I, I, she said, take your time. Someone said, take your time. I don't know how much beta content we have. We might be hitting a wall though, which is strange that we haven't done polls yet. It's making me think almost they don't have a spot to put in the polls, if that's the case, because it feels like we might be hitting an end, but I also don't know, but maybe they don't really have a spot for polls yet. So they're just like, once you finish the content, it's like, hey, now you can poll or whatever. Because usually that's pretty early on in the game, but we're a couple hours in and we still haven't gotten to the gacha system, which is quite interesting. I think I mentioned that in the previous video that that really was inter that was actually like quite interesting to me and why this game doesn't feel like just another gotcha game because it is so late in and we haven't gotten like I still have not changed my nickname which might not be a feature that we even have available to us yet I still haven't pulled I still have a quite a few things that are locked so I'm I'm intrigued by that fact and I feel like that's what makes it feel like just not like a gotcha game in general I need uh to shred my powder now hold on I think that's what we needed right I hope I'm not doing this just willy-nilly yeah i needed the powder okay cool i just want to do this really quickly um or just basically probably do as much tech tree stuff as we can until we head out just because now that i know what i'm doing and i don't have someone screaming in my ear what to what to do every five seconds i feel like i'm like now i'm calm now i can just craft and be chill i love this sort of gameplay i play so many games like this i'm fine now <laughs> i think it just there was too many people screaming in my ear where i was just like no i i hate this but now i'm okay I'm, I'm fine now. Crisis averted. So we have our powder, which means now we can tech tree. I do like that the tech tree keybind is the T because it's like very, it, it makes sense. We got more contours, it looks like. Nice. Advanced features. We're advanced. Belt basics. I need 10 inlaid crystallite components, which is a combo of the crust and the fibers. Okay. So let me, can I pin that formula? How would you, where do you go for that? Hold on. Is that just something I can't do yet? Source the inlaying unit. I think we have one of these actually. Like, is that what five is? Inlaying unit. Yes, we do have an inlaying unit. Put it on the line. I'm actually gonna get this quite close because I think Done. this needs, I think it counts. I think that this is close enough that it's powering it. So we have the inlaying unit, which looks like a big sewing machine, which is quite cute. Our formula that we want then, we want this pinned. I need crust, which we don't have any of. I think I need to make some of that. And I also need the fibers. So. I have five of the, why do I have five of the crust? Can I just not read? Or is it somewhere else? Is it in the refining unit? I'm confused. It says I have five, wait. I do have five, but it's in here, okay. I see the pylons, yes. Hold on, I had stuff in here this whole time. I didn't need to be farming. Storage slot is full, okay, so put them in another slot. Are these glodermas? Yeah, okay, different glowderma. Those are normal glodermas, these are mycelia. Okay, do I not have any more slots? Oh no, I do. Okay, now we can get cracking. So we do have five meaning we need we need 10 of both i need let's go to the shredding unit so no we don't need shredding unit we want refining 10 of these so i'm gonna throw in all five and then you i did the, the button thing again you i need to split because i only need 10 because i had uh, so many of this in my thing for whatever reason so you go there and make our fibers and we need 10 more or five more so then did the thing again i did the thing again all right split five of you out do that i think that should work i'm just gonna watch it i'm babysitting this now actually i want to see if i what i can do for wolf guard you know because he needs actual glow dermas and it's only a gatherable thing so i can't use the mycelia for anything i don't think which kind of sucks unless it's a craftable thing unsure let me ba go back we can make a rigia crust this way as well that probably is a better way to do it just a thought i want to make some more salves and then we'll do buck flower powder the usual I have so much of it. Let's just, that's good. We're gonna have so much buck flower powder. It's gonna be insane. You should be done. Okay, so I have the 10 of you formula. I need you for whatever reason. Oh, okay. 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 We have, we have the 10. Okay. I figured it out. Belt basics. Oh, I need the, I need to do that now. Okay. The inlaying unit. We're learning so much. Put you in there and you in there to make the thing, the crystal like component. Yippee. You already figured it out. I like that everything's a one-to-one -one ratio. That's like, that makes my life a lot easier. I'm just waiting. I'm eager. <laughs> I 
I feel like we need to clear out the bag, actually, because we have quite a bit. So we have to depot some stuff. So the mycelia can go in the depot. Um, honestly, I feel like I should, some of the stuff, like Conterm, can go depot. What are you? The relay tower and then the electric pylon. I think it said having the electric pylons on hand was quite helpful. So I'll keep those on hand. But the tower, relay tower, relay tower doesn't need to be. Buggies can go in the depot, I think. Um, what are you do? These parts have some decent recycling value. I'm just going to throw them in here now. I don't want to deal with that. Um, you can go in there as well. I think we have some room now. Okay. Grab my stuff out of the inlaying unit as so. And then we can tech tree. Belt basics. Boom. Yeah. Moving items on transport belts. Transport belts are essential to any AIC logistics infrastructure. They are responsible for moving items between two facilities connected to by the transport belt. If you have a production line with multiple processing steps, transport belts can save you the hassle of going back and forth between the buildings. So click the transport belt quick button to enter logistics mode, which is E. All facilities that can be connected by transport belts will be displayed will display input or output arrows that indicate how the belts can be connected. Connect one end of the transport belt to the output of facility A, and then connect it to the input of facility B. We're learning so much today. <laughs> Items produced by facility B will then endlessly stream along the belt to the input cache of facility B. Set up the transport belt connections properly to set up a full automated production line. Okay, so, ooh, what now? What was that? Okay, next is fitting. Can I do that now? No, I need more crust or units. I use the terminal. Fiona is going off again. So we'll E. Looks like none of them can, uh, maybe all of them can go in like that. Okay. We can walk over it. I think all of them can be hooked up. So I'm just going to hook all of them up. Why not? Go to the core AIC. Learn how to transport belts are used. Okay. I think that this is if you have stuff going like all the time, which that's like a lot. So I don't know if we're going to be super good at that yet, but we can, we'll get there eventually, hopefully. What else can be hooked up? I think that's it. I do think that's it. Okay. So then if I slow belt, click here to collect materials from this transport belt or click here to collect materials from the entire length of the transport belt. Click here to stash the grid or stash all. Okay. I don't entirely know how that's used. This is used. What did we need for tech tree? Let's, let's try this out. Okay. So the fitting, well, this might be literally the whole video. We need crystalline components. So we're going to need 20 of the crust in 20 fibers. So then let's go over here to the refining unit. We need, ooh, well, I'll put that whole stash in there. And then for crust, we need 20. So let me split that to 20 and boom, we'll throw that in as well. We're gonna need two more though. It looks like, oh, cute, wait, that's so fun. <laughs> it's like that. It stops though. Begin transmission. Oh no, I don't want that. PAC outport point, outport. Output port five. Select goods to unload. What? So if I go slow belt, claim all. How are transport belts used? Because it's just, uh, it stopped. It's kind of cute though. There's probably a better way to do it, mayhaps. I'm just like looking around. Because also I'm like, is it just going to keep going? I don't know if the belts are even that necessary, you know? Like maybe I'm not using them right, but I don't know if they're fully necessary. It's also, I think it's continuously making stuff, which I don't want it to do. Stashing that. So I don't think that's what I wanted to do. I think it took stuff out of my inventory that I did not want made into stuff. We didn't learn how transport belts are used. I didn't need, tw oh no, I did need 20. Okay, so that was correct. We need more crystal ore though. What is the output port, output, output ports. I don't know how this works either. There's so many things. Is my thing with like, they had the little, oh, I, this is, I didn't want to open this. I don't know what this is. This is what they did. They did, the, they did this whole thing. So this one goes in there, but then also they like grabbed stuff and they combined the lines, but I don't know how they did that. Like, I don't know. I don't know what they did, quite frankly. Do we have multiple quests? We do. So we were doing transport belt. We can go back to through the fog though, which is chapter two, act two. I didn't even know we were in chapter two. We can track that, but I do think we have a little bit we can do here with fitting. I need 20. My brain is just like, I shouldn't have done like the whole video being this. I, we should have just gone on with the story. I need, I need more of the, the, the crystalline fiber stuff. You, the crystallite ore. There we go. During exploration. Okay, so we just have to be done then with, for the, with this for now because I ran out. So we might just be done, which means we'll go back to the 
quarry base. Fiona says the transfer belt is a crucial element in our goal to automate production. Talk to Andre if you want to learn how to use the belt. He's a true professional when it comes to things like that. It would have been nice if you told me to talk to Andre sooner because that was I couldn't figure out how it worked. I think we have some mail as well. Probably another survey. Yeah, survey number three. I'll do it on my own. We also got special Enfield supplies, which there's a lot. Supplies two, one and two. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> From Fiona. Okay. Looks like we got more Gloderma stuff, so it looks like we can actually upgrade. I don't know if that's something they're just doing for like it being the last day or something, but wow. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff. All right, Wolfguard. Promotion time. <laughs> Thank you for your can we upgrade anyone? Five, 25. Really Wolfguard would need the upgrades. Oh my god, 1.14k 1, 1. on this? You're kidding. Oh my god, that's insane. I think everyone can just go to 30. Good. Yeah. Okay, everyone's going to level 30. Oh my god. We're really in it now. We also can do some more promotions, but I want to level... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> we just got all of the back! <laughs> oh my god, that's insane. Promote again? Okay. And Perlica can also get promoted? Oh my god. They just said, here you go! <laughs> Everyone can get promoted and get to level 40, basically. So that's all our that's all our stuff. And then auto fail to 40. Dang, we're really going in now. I can still do promotions. Did it just give me everything I need to upgrade everyone to 40? This is gonna be I have to be the end of the video. We'll get back to story in the next one. But today was a lot of like little minuscule crafting, this, that, and the other. Oh my god. If only my missions could be this easy. Wolfguard, I, I relate to that. Yeah, no, it just gave me enough to super level everyone. Oh my gosh. This is wild. This is why I don't know if this is something again, I don't know if this is something they did on the last day. Just to be like, okay, if you haven't if you haven't endgamed yet, if you haven't done the end field endgame yet, here you go. Have fun. Which definitely could be what they're doing, but also I'm not entirely sure. Cause it took me a while to get here, so I don't know if, I don't know for sure. I think level 50 is where they're capping. It looks like you might be able to get farther, but I think they are. Those look like they're probably capping it for now because I don't think you. I don't think there's any legitimate reason why you need to go past level 50 in the tech test. I don't think there's a legitimate reason for it unless you just really wanted to go crazy with it. But I don't think it's necessary fully. We can upgrade skills as well. Oh, they upgrade specifically. Okay, so these are upgrade together, these two, and then they're the one. Okay. I don't know if everyone uses the same Master stuff, but there's skills. we're out of stuff now, so I don't can't do that. But I still have. Right? But then Tian Yu uses different mats. It looks Master like, and I'm assuming that mm, Wolfgar will also by. use different mats. Yes, he uses a different flower thing here, but we don't have a ton of it. Of so you only do two upgrades. Okay, and then gear. We need to go crazy with the gear because um, everyone has stuff. So equip, no equip. Looks like they gave an like a set for no everyone, pretty much. No oh, problem. Okay, and two there's two kits. Okay. Do these upgrade? No, these are just base, base stats. Upgrade or put stuff on. Well oh, there's oh enter battle with Do they have they have different stats? Oh, I don't want to do this right now. <laughs> I don't want to do this right now. I'm just like, oh no, 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 no. There's set stats. We're not doing that right now. We're not doing that specifically right now because that's a lot of work. And I think I would go insane if I had to come up with sets and stats and that, all that. I, ge I genuinely think that that would give me a run for my money. So we're just going to put on whatever. I don't care about sub stats and main stats right now. We're just doing whatever. It's not that serious. Potential, it's not available. Okay, good, good. I That's a, that's a lot. Weapons, we haven't even finished with weapons. But what did they give us for weapons on upgrades? Quite a bit. 924? Oh my god, look at the sword! Hold on. So we have a five-star sword on Endman, which means really the next... Chin Yu also has a five-star. Wait, what about... We gotta... Okay, Royal Claymore. Put that on you. You both have five-star weapons. I keep wanting to say four-star because they're purple. Perlica still... So she gets her... Keeps her four-star. All right. Now we can go crazy on level leveling weapons, upgrading weapons, which is gonna be insane. We can tune it. There we go. There's so much. Oh, did I run out? Oh no, because this is a different level. Probably then we want to do three star and below. Yeah, okay. So it's throwing in weapons, but everyone has a good weapon, so I don't care. Yeah, I got items returned to us. Thank God. Auto fill upgrade. 
And that's at level 50 now, so we're going to keep it there. It looks like we don't have the mats to go past 50 as well, which is it's fine. I don't think we need to go past 50. That, that, that's like overkill. Am I still at it's just auto do, automatically do two star and below? Yes. So we need to switch it to three star. Very tedious today. We didn't do really any story, but we did kind of do all the upgrading that we could probably ever need. If only it was this easy at release. <laughs> It's still a pretty easy system, but they literally gave me everything I could ever need to upgrade everyone, like the whole main team. So we'll see what we can do if we end up pulling, which might be soon, on mayhaps, but we'll see. I am curious to see how the like equipment and armor sets and stuff work and what different buffs you can get. But also the reason why I'm not really trying to make proper sets with those right now with substats and all that is because I don't entirely know what these characters scale on yet. That's a lot of information that isn't entirely necessary right now. So I'm just kind of leaving it. I also ran out of stuff. Um and I was I should have should have focused on your Royal Claymore. Um <laughs> Wolfguard, I apologize for that. You get the baby weapon because I have nothing left. Where do we get this from? Weapon tune rift. Okay. All right. Uh noted. Oh I need I never activated you. Oh God. That would have been so bad. What? None of these Oh this envoy works. Okay you can take that. It's green. Oh my god, it looks like it looks like a Legend of Zelda sword. Okay, special supplies from Enfield number three. Wait, there's more? Bruh. Insufficient bag space. Eh? What do I do about that? Can I just not take it? What do you mean, ba insufficient bag space? Do I, I not have too much gear or something? No. What do I do with this? Here's the thing. I now, um, you know, I guess, I guess we're fine for now. Um, we've done enough. I have, don't have enough bag space, so we're just gonna leave it. But we're doing more story in the next- I, I literally would have kept going with the story. Oh my god, my, my brain is fried. Insufficient bag space. What do you mean? What does it want to put in the bag? Oh, those are all the mushrooms, so it looks like we can go above 50. Dang. They just said, here you go. Fun. I don't know what to do with this. I'm going back over here then. And then, okay, I can depot some stuff. I don't need this much powder. Don't need the citrome. Maybe we keep our healing stuff. I'm depoting that. I can't. I'm just gonna start throwing stuff in here. We'll craft here, I guess. I know I need you, so that's why I still have you in here. Now will it let me uh, grab those stuff in the inbox? Yeah, okay. I think it's because it gave me the mushrooms I need to level up characters past 50. Yeah, it gave me that. So that's why we ended up here. Okay. Weapons, really where we were at. Guys. We're still going. There's more. Actually, no, there's not because I ran out of tuning stuff. Can I, what about Wolfguard's weapon? By. No, Wolfguard. I apologize for that. We ran out of those mats. So your weapons are going to have to stay where they are. Understood. Skills, however, can be upgraded more as well as we can promote characters more. So yeah, we got the mushrooms that we need, it looks like. So we'll promote Endman and then... We can autofill there. Boom. And then I can't go past that. Harlika then. She uses the yellow mushroom. Boom. Promoted. We go upgrade like that. Awesome. Chien Yu. You're next. You get the red mushroom. Boom. Promoted. <laughs> Looks like they also get a new skill when you up promote them. The mats that are required though are insane. The number there. But I'm not really surprised. Also red mushroom for wolf guard. Upgrade. Boom. Boom. Level 60. <laughs> insane. It looks like the characters only go to 70 for now. So interesting. I don't even know what to do skill wise. Maybe get everyone to rank three on their skills. Probably the best bet for now. So go level that. And then whoop guy. Get there and there. And I can honestly upgrade another one of his skills. So we'll just upgrade that one. Awesome. Awesome. We're doing a lot today i think we got better gear as well but i already equipped the gear yeah we definitely did okay let me Probably. switch out then for the five star gear it also looks like you a, you a specific level is required for that and again everyone's just getting whatever i think looks like we have a decent amount two piece at a two piece okay it kind of figured it out for me which i appreciate because then i don't need to think this through like at all everyone gets a pencil and a wrench enjoy i don't know what you're gonna do with those but have fun also, boxing gloves? Boxing scares me. Because I, I know I know all it would take is like one hit and I'd be out. That's like, I would not last. <laughs> like, my gym has like a boxing thing. And, and, and that's the one thing where I'm like, do not make me touch that. If you make me touch that, I will cry. Thank you. I think that's all we can do for now. And I think, I think we've done enough. Enough has been done. Enough damage has been done. But also, I think we can do some tech tree stuff. Um, The fitting? No, we can't. Never mind. Oh god, well that's it for today. Everyone's level 60. Weapons could definitely use some work, but we haven't gotten that the thing for that yet. So that's where we're at. That is where we're at. I think I'm 
I think I, I don't even know what to do with myself now. I think I, I think a break is in order. I need to like re I need my brain to like take a breather. <laughs> we had so much stuff at the end where it was like, oh my god, they literally just gave me everything I would I could ever need. Not everything I could ever need, but most of it. it. So what does Edmund want? Edmund wants something upgraded, but I can't tell. Maybe they don't want anything upgraded. Maybe maybe we're fine. Maybe we're fine. Uh, the I'm covering it, I think. Yeah, it looks like I'm covering it, but there's like little pop-ups for all the materials I'm still acquiring. But that is it for today for Ark Knights Enfield. If you like this video, make sure to give me a like down below as well as subscribe for more and click the little notification bell to be notified when I upload new ones. As always, I hope everyone had or is having a super lovely day wherever you are in the world. I'm gonna go do survey three and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.